Can you teach me Japanese? <laughs> no. That's my life. What? what is up everybody my name is jonathan hiller and i'm a filmmaker whose content you may have seen in places like these and today i'm going to be reacting to lisa rockstar not to be confused with post malone rockstar I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. But actually, maybe they're related in some weird visual way, but that's what we'll be diving into today. Let's go. Goatee sitting on a dash, she a rock star, make your favorite singer on a rap. Baby, la la, Lisa, can you teach me Japanese? Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. That's my life, life, baby, I'm a rock star. Okay, whoa. First of all, the aspect ratio is four by three, which is a little more square. Now this is a really nice way to split the difference between vertical and horizontal. And you can tell it's a fast lens because it's shot at night and it's exposed really well. Now, what I mean by a fast lens is the degree to which light can enter the lens and then be projected onto the digital sensor. Slow is the nomenclature that we use for lenses that can only open up to like f4 or f5.6, and a fast lens is any lens that can go wider than f2. Now, a really cool effect that can go very wrong is shutter drag. I don't actually think this is a mechanical shutter drag. I think it's an effect, but a really cool effect nonetheless. It sort of brings the audience into this very dreamy, almost like LSD type of space. I also love the backlighting here. It's very blue. And you all know how much I really enjoy backlight. So here we go. Oh. Okay, whoa, well, whoa. Well. Something I love about Blackpink and something that's held consistent through all of the solo careers is the way that they cut. So essentially there's two ways that you can cut a music video. One is on the beat and one is off. When you cut on the beat, it's very much showing the hand of the editor. So it's essentially saying, this is a cut. When it's off the beat, like here, it hides the cut. And as it's been said before on this channel, every cut is a lie. So the degree to which you hide a cut actually creates this fourth wall. It, it sort of, brings people deeper into the narrative. I don't even know if I can talk about that transition without crying, it was insane. Blackpink is always grade A in this category and I don't see anything different here. Amazing. Okay, wait, this is so, okay, hold on. Blackpink to me is a new generation of music. It is the confluence between K-pop and hip-hop. And here I almost see a Kendrick Lamar call out, which is crazy. So can you teach me Japanese? I said, hey, hey. Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note. This is absolutely not a typical K-pop dance sequence. We are in hip-hop category. The cuts are hard, they go extremely close to extremely wide. They're not in these crazy robotic arms that they typically use in K-pop music videos. This is something different. So much fun to watch. It's a fast life, it's an attitude. Put it on a color dad, tell me when to come through. Yes, yes, I can spend it, yes, Ooh. yes. No pretending tight dress. I'll be sent in, oh shit. It's a rapping. Been on a mission, but I call me. Catch and kill, I'm still in diamonds. Make them chase me for the thrill. Ooh. Been in my APK. <laughs> Okay, the use of color here is insane. I think it's technically what we call duotone, but it's almost monochromatic. It goes from hard magenta to hard red to hard blue to hard white. And this is due to collaboration on every single aspect of filmmaking, from production design to costumes to lighting to camera work, everything is in sync. And the camera movement here is almost more, I don't wanna say like tasteful, but it is more tasteful. That slight angular push in, it's actually not slight at all, but it's positioned so beautifully in the cut that it, again, invisible. It just adds a feeling. I mean, this is something that K-pop does so well. There's so much going on that you could be thinking about critically with your left brain, <laughs> left. But really what comes across is a feeling, which is all right hemisphere. That is the artist space. It's just beautifully done. And on a dash, a rock star, make your favorite singer on a rap, baby, la, la.
Okay. So I see a little bit of influence from the movie Blade Runner 2049. The angles, the orange, the light. It looks very Roger Deakins-esque to me, which is amazing because Roger Deakins is the greatest cinematographer of all time, arguably. Also, the edit here, I, I don't know. I don't even, I, I don't know how they did that. It's one of those beautiful moments as an artist where you look at another artist's work and you go, yep. I know some still photographers that do this really well, but I don't think I've ever seen it in a music video. Like that's, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Now that is what we call a banger, both from an audio and a visual perspective. Music production was absolutely incredible as always, but the visuals here, I've, I honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. The tasteful way they used camera movement, the way they hit the cuts, the color, the production design, the choreography. Yep, that was incredible. Nine out of 10. Don't think I could do 10 out of 10, even though I like a lot of stuff. I feel like 10 out of 10 is impossible, but, 9 out of 10. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you all. If you liked that video, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.